is is characteristics. Amen. That's the only thing fruits are. You can have, like I said, you can have good characteristics or bad. You can have godly or worldly. Doesn't matter. All it is is your makeup. Look at somebody and say your makeup. Your makeup. Every person in here has a certain makeup. A certain thing about you that separates you from anybody else on the face of this earth. A certain attitude that you have. Amen. That, that, that is different than anybody else. So let's look at Galatians. Amen. We want to first start looking at today. We want to look at Galatians chapter 5. We want to look at verses 22 through 26. Galatians chapter 5. Verse 22 through 26. And what they're talking about here is the quality the, the, the quality that God desires to produce in the life of every Christian. This is the qualities. These are the qualities that God desires to produce in our lives. How many of you want a godly character? Amen. Well, these are the characteristics that God desires to, to, to impart in us. Amen? So let's look at this. It says, but the fruit of the Spirit... Now, now, whose spirit? God's spirit, amen? We just, we're talking about fruit, amen? Characteristics. But the fruit of the spirit is what? Love. Now, this kind of love is not the kind of love that, uh, uh, the fleshly kind of love or the eros kind of love between a husband and a wife or even a filios kind of love between a brother and a sister. Amen. This is a agape love. This is the God kind of love. This kind of fruit here. So it says the, the, the fruit of the spirit is love, joy, peace, long suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, Temperance against such things there is no law. So if you're walking in this, if you're living in this, we're looking at Galatians right. chapter uh, chapter two, five, verses twenty through and twenty six. Look what it says. These things that if you, these are the characteristics that God wants to uh, uh, put in us, amen? amen, through the power of the Holy Spirit. But look what it says. And they that are crisis have crucified, what? The flesh with the affections and the lusts. Amen. If we live in the spirit, let us also, what? Walk in the spirit. Let, let us not be, what? Uh, desirous of vain glory. Oh, vain glory. Worthless glory. Provoking one another to envy. Amen. We're not supposed to provoke one another uh, to, to, to the wrong things. Amen. Amen. So here in this text, these are the qualities that God desires to produce in the life of a believer. Amen. How many of you see that? Love, Amen. peace, joy, mm -hmm. peace, long suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith. He wants that in you. Meekness. Amen. Uh, meekness is, is when you have the power to knock somebody out. But you're meek enough to say, I have it under control. It's like a 2,000 pound horse. 1,500 pound horse. He has the power to, to kick a man 20 feet. But he's been tamed. That his power is under control. That is called meekness. Amen? Amen. Then he says temperance. Temperance is patience, but it's patience under pressure. Amen? How many of you understand this? Some of us are patient, but, but some of us are, are, are not so patient when somebody's pressing us or pushing us or life circumstances are weighing us down. So that's temperance. Amen? Amen. And these are what we call the fruit of the Spirit. Now, I believe that as Christians, there is a certain uh, characteristic that we, certain characteristics that we have to display. We're still talking about the God kind of fruit. These are the God kind of fruit. There are certain things that when we go through the mall, we go through the common 
commissaries. We go through the uh, through, through, through our communities. We go to, to our children's school. These are the things when people look at you, they should see. Amen. 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 Te- we don't have no business cussing out teachers as much as we love our children. Yes. We don't have no no business pulling guns out on folks. <laughs> <laughs> Pulling knobs out on folk, cussing people out, giving it. No, 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 because it's not, that does not line up with this. Amen? Amen? Amen. 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 So the Bible tells us in Matthew 5 and 16, and I want you to really just, because today this is what we're talking about the God kind of fruit. In Matthew 5 and 16, the Bible says this look, ye are the light of the world. You are the light. You, you. But how many know a lot of Christians' light are not shining as bright as they think they are? Amen. Your light can only shine when you are bearing the characteristics and you're displaying the God kind of fruit. So he says, you are the light of the world. Look what he says in Matthew. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. In other words, when you're really displaying the characteristics of God, you will be noticed. Amen. People will see a difference about you that is different than anybody else. There should be something different about us as Christians. Amen. A city is something that, it, it, it says not just a city, but a city that is on a hill. There should be a clear difference. Yes. Yes. Amen? Amen. Amen? Look what he says here. Neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel. We're looking at Matthew 5 and 16. 5, 14, 15, and 16. But look what he says. But he says, but on a candlestick. Or a candlestick, and it giveth light unto all that are in the house. Amen. 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 This is why it's important. Don't let your light so shine. Look what it says there. If you live in the spirit, no, 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 look what it says. Let your light, verse 16, let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works, see your character, and glorify who? Your father which is in heaven. This is our goal as Christians. We can't be people who talk one thing and live another way. 